Hey crafters, it's your girl again with another detailed video. If you want to see how I made this beautiful tutu, keep on watching because it's going to be a long video, but you're going to benefit out of it. So keep on watching. Today I'm going to be cutting a purple tool. I'm trying to make a mermaid skirt. So, so the tool <clears throat> is 10 yards and um, I am going to be cutting it. <laughs> so I this like I told you guys this is already this is 10 yards it's already measured so I don't have to do nothing but to cut it whatever size I want it to be so guys I decided I'm gonna make it for a tutti I have my cheat sheet here where I have all my measurements so for a tutti it is supposed to be 16 inches long and when you fold it it's gonna be Eight. So my 16 is going to fall here and let me see how much I will have left because I want to use this for another two, another two, 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 sorry. So I will have like 12 inches left so when you fold it, it's going to be six. So I'm going to have that for a newborn baby. Well, oh, I can have it for 0 to 12. So that's going to give me a 6 inches long, which is going to be for a 0 to 12. So this works. So we're gonna, I'm going to do it for a 2T. There we go. I always like to give it a little bit of inch to it because remember some of this are not all all the way folded so what am I talking about some of it is longer than save this to make uh, a tool for zero to 12 month old so I always save my scrap I don't throw them away because you never know when you're gonna need it I, wish. I have a tutu that I made from a scrap so scrap is it scrap or scrap I don't know This is gonna be another two. Save it. So now I want to start sewing my channel. So I decided to um, use a darker, um, what they call it, new tray for the project. So now I'm gonna start sewing. So all you need to do is to fold your your tool into two equal halves and that will make it like four pieces if that that makes sense because when you get it it's always folded so you fold it again into into two and you get a four piece in your hand one of the pieces is like folded and that is a two piece plus the other loose ones make it four so um for a 2t it is 8 inches long so i cut at 16 inches so that will give me um when i fold it that will give me an 8 inches long so that's a concept so i'm gonna go ahead and start creating my channel that is where you're gonna put the band so that helps for you to that is basically for where that is basically where your band is gonna be so the band I always get is this here 
and this is i believe i cannot remember how many inches but um when i when i kind of measure it and put it in in my let me come closer so you guys can see it So when I kind of put it here in the channel that I'm about to create, it tells me this is just a pocket. And you can actually measure this and measure the machine. Um, measure the measure it on the tool as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and create start. So now I'm gonna create my backward stitch. While I'm sewing, for those of you that have always been following me, you already know the concept. So you just you make sure you're arranging it, like measuring, um, arranging it, making it straight while you sew, because that can make a huge difference. If you don't, you will have. Uh, tutu that is not looking right so you want to make sure you are arranging because that is very important to get a flawless tutu This part you will not be able to So what I always say this is my foundation, you will have to lay your foundation right um, so as to get a flawless tutu. So this is the part I call my foundation. So
this part here to be the part that is going to be facing up that's because that way i can control where it's supposed to be because sometimes if you don't do it if one is shorter than the rest you may miss it and it, you may not get it soon so that's the reason why i like to go that way so we this is the end i'm gonna use so this part here faces this part of your machine so where you're gonna apply your ribbon so now i have these two loose ends facing up that way i can control where um where i sew it basically control basically making sure that um while i'm sewing my ribbon i get every every ends so guys, I have a lot of ribbons here. Of course, this is gonna be my number one ribbon, but I'm trying to see what I'm gonna, you know, mix with it to make it um, pop out real good. So I just want to look at my design for the shirt that I'm gonna be using this for, and um, I was going back and forth between yellow, between yellow, purple, and pink. Um, so. I think with my design the purple will go better and I'm gonna use a glitter I'm using I'm thinking I'm gonna use like a glitter like this because if you guys know mermaids um, they love shining stuff so you got to incorporate shining stuff with it so I'm gonna be using glitter for this and um, that's the goal to go with the gold that is going on here so that's what I'm gonna use so I don't have enough of this so I'm gonna go to the store later and get more of this but um this is gonna be my final combination so I have three of this here and each of them is three yards this is 25 yards so I love it when I have a lot then less because for less I'll have to go be I'll have to like um, combine them together the right way so but anyways so um, for those of you that are new to my channel hello hi hi welcome to my channel but um, what you need to know is when you are putting your ribbon okay besides that um you want to make sure you get this part here so it, it doesn't unravel all right when putting your ribbon your ribbon goes um underneath your tool that's your first ribbon and it's always pretty placed down so the pretty place goes down if it's something like this shiny place down so the shiny place will go down but in this case pretty place go down so you make a decision which of them you want to be at the bottom so it's definitely gonna be this end that's gonna be at the bottom what i mean is make a decision trying to see if it's gonna be this way or this way but um if i want to this other way i will have to unravel the ribbon from the carrier and use the other end so i'm just gonna go by this i'm not even gonna stress it out so we're gonna put the pretty place down and you want to make sure you put it exactly underneath your tool as in the measurements should be exact because except if you kind of add a little bit of inch to it then you can play around and make sure you get it right but if you have it the exact um what they call it the exact um length you want to make sure you got it right so i'm thinking maybe i should change my red to probably yellowish because where i'm going to be sewing is going to be somewhere it's going to be here so yellowish should be the best option I hope I have yellow. I should have yellow because I just sold 
and yellow too so so that's gonna be on top of this side of the river and it's not gonna show if I use this purple it's gonna really come out not looking good so you want to make sure you match your ribbon to your, your thread to your ribbon so we're gonna place our ribbon in the two so the first session where you create your channel is my foundation and this is my semi foundation if there's any word like that um, for the ribbon this is the foundation for the ribbon or oh, semi foundation or whatever all right so you want to make sure that you have your ribbon placed correctly so that you don't have issues to be all the way to the end I don't want it to be in the, of course you don't want it in the middle all the way to this end here so so I usually like kind of give it a little bit of bend so that's just to get it to the end Let's just look at this is perfect you guys cannot really see it but the yellow blends better that's a yellow trait blends better material is like well, it's all the way to the end um, those are the ones that, not, that were not cut straight so don't stress out about it when you're done you just do your clean up make sure you don't try to straighten it uh, match it up with the ribbon where you see that is not a straight line it's not a straight cut just know that's a waste that's a part that you, you have to cut
this is 10 yards and it is true to what it is because I ended up using I'm gonna show you this three of this and thank god I had extra on hand I actually bought six of this ribbon because it was actually on sale so I bought it was 50% off so I bought six of it so um <clears throat> so this is um what is left out of this three yards so this is gonna be two yards in the left because one yard from this so I want to make sure that I get your toe out of the way again all right so I'm gonna show you to you guys you can see how pretty it is the thread is not coming through it's not showing can you guys really see it there's my thread showing because i used the yellow to go with this here if i had used a purple you can imagine this would have come up really like it's you guys would have been able to see it so it was a good decision i made by using yellow so make sure you're matching your thread to your yellow. So now I am going to go ahead and add, put this purple to my design. What am I saying? Design. I'm going to sew this purple on it. And so now I'm going to change my thread to a purple. Back to a purple. The darker purple because that's what I'm working with. I'm done with yellow until I get a complete set of this before I can start that project. But I'm not gonna start it until I go to the store. When I go to the store, okay, this is four yards. So I don't know how many I have left here. Maybe two. So I'm gonna grab a three of it just to be on the safer side. I'm hoping this one should be a lot for me. So for those of you that are wondering how do you know when this thread here is getting low <clears throat> I usually get to know when I start having like um, you start seeing like when you're sewing you, you start like bunching up your whatever you're sewing start bunching up like the thread start bunching up into like They just start bunching up so when it start bunching up like squeezing itself like this that's when i know that i'm out of i'm running out of thread so case is gonna be like this oh this is gonna be so pretty it's gonna be like this on top of this so you make a decision how you want this to be if you want it to be upper or just a little bit make sure you're measuring how you want it to start again So 
this is gonna be pretty. Can you guys see it? Make sure it looks straight. how I want it to look like so and I want to make sure my tread is all the way to this end here just like the other one always whenever you're sewing a ribbon you want it to be all the way to this end and then in the middle and the other side when I started I did it in the middle it was so ugly to seal my ribbon even if I'm not using it right now just for the sake of the future so, and also I don't want it to start losing off losing which I know it's not but that's something I just like to do doesn't take nothing from me Alright guys, so this is how pretty it's coming out. So you can imagine if I put the glitter, of course you want to make sure you have some kind of glitter to make it um, shiny because Marmaid, they are known for um, glitters, sparkles and all of that. So. When I put the glitter that I want to put, it's going to really come out really good, you can see. So, so far it's looking beautiful. So, I'm not going to put this glitter until I go to the store and see all the varieties they got. Then I will um, decide on what glitter I want to use. So, but um, I'm going to have to pause this video until I get back from the store. So, but so far, this is looking good, y'all. Loving it. See? So, if you want to leave it this way, you can leave it this way. If you don't want to do too much. But, um, I think I want to just add a little bit of glitter. So, guys, I went to Hobby Lobby to get some glitter. And this is the one I went for. And, um, I like it just because um, 
I decided to go for this pink because the design that I use on the shirt, the girl has a pink lip, so and it's glitter, and that's the reason why I went for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on top, and you guys already know you place this on top and the pretty place facing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this. So you know already, you start, you have to give your backward stitch, but first of all, we're gonna do a forward stitch. And backward stitch. So when giving a backward stitch, you wanna make sure that um, you are holding on to your knob. I don't know. Um, every machine is gonna be different, so. But mine is just this. All right, I wanna make sure it is on the ribbon because the ribbon is very tiny and not outside of the ribbon. Though I want it on this side and not on this side. So I want it more on the left, on left side and not on the right side. it's gonna fall off off of the it's gonna be off it's not gonna be on the ribbon so i'm gonna move it so while you're sewing you can move it Basically, um, you want to make sure you cover up where your thread is on the ribbon that you're sewing on. So that's one thing I am paying attention to when you're doing it. Make sure you cover up the thread and that's it. You should be good. And you don't want to sew it to the middle you want to sew it on the side on your left hand side so um we can see how it is i can hardly even see my thread that's a good thing so the thread really blends with it so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off off of camera come back and show you guys the final results so just an FYI, when sewing these tiny ribbons, make sure you really pay attention so you don't sew outside the ribbon and get on the toe. I just thought I should just point that out for you. I am done. I'm so excited. Um, ooh, can you see that, guys? It is so, so, so beautiful. Like, ooh, I am so much in love with it. And that's one thing with Tutu. When you're making it, you just see the beauty right away. Hey guys, so finally we're gonna complete this project. This is a different day, and uh, I look a mess because um, I have a craft show coming up in two days. I am trying to get stuff done, and I'm trying to, like, I'm doing a lot right now. So, and I needed to complete this video, so it's like I'm doing more than. I'm, I'm doing a lot basically so just excuse my look so now I am just gonna go ahead and start putting this tutu together sew it up and call it good so you guys know I always like to stick my pin on me so that um, I don't lose that part there Oops. pin the wrong side 
because I like to give it a pinch so that it can go through for the side I paint was a part that I like to use to pass through so this one I give it a pinch so I am gonna go ahead making sure I put it in the two holes there we go in the middle making sure there we go so um this is the easiest part among everything you can see how beautiful this um tutu is like look at those ribbons y'all so what i usually do i can make one tutu and make two different shirts so i can uh, put it on my um etsy and my website so it can seem like i have a lot of tutu and when they order i go ahead and make some more tutu so that's just an idea for you if you are into the tutu business so i'm just going to go ahead and complete this on camera and come back and show you guys and actually sew it and then come back and show you guys the final look on the mannequin so guys this is how it came out i hope you guys like it let me know put that in the comment section and let me know if you're gonna try it give me a thumbs up if you like this and please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed for more videos like this uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of diys just to help you grow your business you guys are gonna be seeing my behind the scene so this is how it's just gonna look like anyways thank you so much for watching go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that other um, crafters can see this video and it's gonna be helpful for them and go ahead and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any video we're gonna be having two videos every week yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye, bye.